Happy Friday and welcome to Watch Guard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is two minor Microsoft O days. The Google Project Zero organization, people that report vulnerabilities in other products, uh, have recently disclosed two zero-day vulnerabilities in Microsoft products. And by the way, they've reported these without waiting for Microsoft to patch. They have a pretty aggressive 90-day maximum for their disclosure policy, so if an organization doesn't patch within 90 days, they release the details publicly. Now, the first vulnerability I want to mention is one in Windows 10. It's probably the more important of the two vulnerabilities. Basically, it's a local privilege escalation vulnerability. If you already have local access and, and a valid credential on a Windows computer, save in the guest user, you could leverage this to gain full administrative control of a Windows 10 computer. Now, it's not a huge deal because it is a local vulnerability, not a, a remote one, but it is a pretty important thing that Microsoft should patch soon. The second issue they mentioned is a little less severe. It's a problem in their new Edge browser. Uh, basically, it allows an attacker to run uh, unsigned or potentially malicious code in the browser. However, it really has some caveats around it. It's not a, a huge deal, but definitely one you want to patch soon. In any case, if you're a Windows 10 user, that's the one I would consider more. The good news, again, is it's not remote, so as long as you don't un allow untrusted users access to your machines, you should be relatively okay, but it is the kind of flaw that a user that already has access to your, to your computer can use to elevate uh, his or her privileges. Now, what can you do about this? Well, nothing really right now. You do have to wait for Microsoft's patches, besides, of course, using security products like ours to protect yourself. Microsoft does suggest that these patches will be ready for their March patch day. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.